I'm Wayne Blakely, and this is my story. Are you having a boy or a girl? I'm having a girl. There's no way I'm having a boy. It's a beautiful little boy. I didn't want a boy. Get him out of here. Go. What? Get out. Get him out of here now. Go. Get him out. <laughs> you can't come in with me. You're not a girl. Mama. Mama. I need my privacy. I told you to stay out. Now I have to take you to the doctor. What happened? He fell down. Has he fallen before? No. Hey, sis. Yeah, it's true. Jan isn't a fit mother. Well, as you know, I'm on assignment. I can't do anything about it. Well, you're my sister, and I want you to take Wayne and raise him as your own, because you know Jesus. All right. All right, cool. All right, thanks. I don't want to be a boy. I want to be a girl. What can we expect? Well, you found me in the personals. It's a sensual massage. I practice safe sex. Seattle Police, you're under arrest for prostitution. What's your real name? Wayne Blakely. Okay, Wayne, come with me. Get in the car, we're gonna go down to the station. Thanks for calling. <laughs> this sure beats being in the slammer. Yeah, man, I missed you. I wondered where you went. Yeah, it's good to be loud and proud again. Sorry to hear about Steve. When is his funeral? This Tuesday. Seems like every guy I know is dying from AIDS. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was standing in front of the mirror one day and realizing that I've lost the majority of my friends to AIDS and I want to memorialize them by having a heart um, on, my, on my arm and I wanted Survivor down the middle of it because I remain HIV negative and I'm the lucky one. Is this all right? Yeah, that's exactly what I had in mind. I wonder if the Adventist church has actually come up with an outreach to gays and homosexuals. Hit the red button. Wow, here's four interesting options. Christ is the only way any of us will be saved. He is willing and able to walk with us every step of the way. Wow. God, this is a lot of information. I don't know exactly what you want me to do. Pray with me that he'll give his heart to the Lord. And so we did. We had a special prayer together. And this was on Sabbath, uh, between church and Sabbath school. Dear God, I don't know what to do. You know my life, you know. Everything I've done, you know, everywhere I've been, and, and I'm, I'm amazed that I'm still alive. 
I should have been dead many times, but somehow, for some reason, you have hung on to me. I don't want this to just be some haphazard thing. I, I want to love you. I want to know you. I don't know how to live my life right, but I, I know that you promised to empower me and show me. So, Lord, please reveal yourself to me. So help me, God. Please do with me what you want to do. In Jesus' name, amen. The whole family were mm -hmm. praying that week for you, too. Wayne called and said, I'm going to be baptized. My parents' prayers for nearly 40 years brought me out of darkness into light. I made a lot of poor choices in this city that ruined a lot of lives. But God preserved me and is using me today to testify of His redeeming love.